Yeah, I, I yeah. agree with you 100% because, so, because... I'm saying whites are racist. Yeah, right? and, I'm, yeah. and literally, just let me finish. This is my last point. Okay. Everyone thinks that there's more racism in the world towards minorities, right? Yeah. The rules have been completely switched. Yes. I go on Instagram for two seconds, and I find at least five posts saying white people are bad or making fun of white stereotypes, right? I look in the comments, literally everyone is laughing except for the white people. I, go, I, I look on an edgy meme page, edgy, a quote-unquote edgy meme page, who posts the same thing about the opposite race. They are called racist to the point where they literally have their page taken down. And people say white racism doesn't exist. But you know it you does. Guys, Every type of racism so wait, wait, exists. You know what you guys should take when you get to college? Um, you should take ethics, but you have to take philosophy first. And then philosophy. you take sociology or, or sociology. But the thing is... Sociology is the study of the way people react to each other. But the thing is... The um, study of reactions. It's not psychology where it's the individual brain. It's about why people become an angry mob. I it's about why that. people behave a certain way, why they join gangs, why they um, are racist or, or whatever. You know, well, racism, is, very racism is basically tough. And right now, the country, offensive. what's going on is the country is divided, you're right, with, with left and right because, you know, people didn't want Trump to win, and then somehow he did, and now it's divided everybody in a lot of ways, you know? So everybody's either pro or anti, well, not really pro anymore, but now they're, you know, Trump excusers, or whatever. Trump is splitting all of our friends But so it's, it's a lot of things that are going on, and usually when there's so much strife, sometimes wars can, can happen. But wait, we have to go back to this stuff. It's nah, I'd rather, I'd rather go on this, okay? it's a lot. So, I wanted to know. Can I so remember this say guy did one more thing? End up being isolated. Wait, our uh, minister. Lucas, Lucas wants to say. Yeah, something. let me say one more thing. He's ripped up the whole world. Okay, that's one reason. Um, people join gangs because of f like two or three, re two or three big reasons. Yeah, they don't fit it. One, because it's a way to get money. A lot of people these days, they are, they can't afford even like the basic necessities. They can't afford bread. They can't afford. Or they Peanut butter. Sucks, so they need to be needed. They can't afford anything, and that's how they get money. They get money by selling drugs. Well, the most and why people join cults or join gangs. I'm not talking about a cult. I'm talking about like well, gangs, like in, general, in cities, like inner cities. Like people do that is because the the need for a human being to belong to stuff is more powerful than anything else. So even also 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 doing, because animals. Animals. right we are we are social animals. All right, wait, we have to go back to this. So that's why this poor guy with the with okay. the black veil. Okay, he was not accepted because he's different. But prior to wearing that veil, everybody liked him. Everybody invited him to dinner. Everybody did stuff with him. People talked to him. He was a good preacher. Suddenly, he became a leper. People would make fun of him. Exactly. They would stand before him, right? It's exactly this like me. In society. This, is, this happened in society. This has happened to me society. on a daily basis almost every other week. No lie. I changed one thing. So, like, remember, like, in the year, my hair was always straight. Now since I'm bringing curly, now less people talk to me. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, why? I curled my hair. Oh, let's see. I got, I got something too. The other names because I curled my hair and I look different than myself. What do they call you? Well, listen. People Is that an insult? Is that an insult? No, but is it really bad to be called Danny? No, it's not. I am a bad person. Hey! No, no. Not no. Bad. It's just, 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 it's Exactly like me. See, I had a lot of friends, sort of, when I before I came out as being trans. And now my family disassociates completely. I cannot talk to my family half the time. That's awesome. I have no family yeah. members I can go to because I came out as trans. Before that, I can talk to anybody, and they will be hell. They they would they'd actually like talk to me for like hours. Now I cannot talk to my family for more than ten minutes right. because but they he suffered a loss. What did he gain later on? 
Think about what he gained. I gained the loss of my family. I have nobody I can talk to. Think about what he gained. Do you guys what? what he Death. Gained? He died there. No, no, no. That's the very he end. Gained, what did he gain? He gained fame. Fame. He did gain fame. He gained fame. Listen, no, like. Yeah. He did gain There's fame, a chance. And people kind of feared him a little bit. But remember, fear is a powerful thing. Yes. If but you know what else is understand powerful? understand something, they fear it. You know what else remember is powerful? That. It's a fear. You know what else is powerful? Guns. Guns are powerful. Knives are powerful. Oh, and the, the, any type of weapon is powerful. The, the mom mentality is powerful. And if if anybody decides they don't like me enough and they will come after me to kill me because I am trans, that will most likely happen. I will most likely be dead before 25. Our societies that come along. I don't understand no, why people it, it hasn't. Like, it like, really hasn't. But listen, really hatred is. does exist. And when people are different, that's exactly what our story is about. Except, remember, what his sermon was about? Oh Secret sin. This is even more impactful since we're talking about all these oh, things. Oh yeah, also on People's top of that, I am also called a sinner sins. because I am gay. Right. So these are sins. What is Father Hooper hiding? What's going on that he's going to wear a veil over, you know, taking it off and being married to his wife? What could he have done so bad that he has to wear this thing? And then in the end, even the veil scares him, right, when he sees and toasts and everything. In the end, he dies with the veil, okay? People still are, like, spooked out over the thing. But he says, you guys treated me like shit. I feel like people... I feel like people <laughs> he basically said that, right? He basically said, because I wore this this piece of, of crepe over my eyes, you are the ones who should look at yourselves. Don't look at me and blame me for something I was doing. Yeah. You guys isolated me. Was it not you who used to talk to me? It is exactly what I tell to my literally? family and everybody who actually used to talk to me. I'm getting dissed just because I'm wearing something over I feel place. like people will underestimate me. I'm like, no, no, not underestimate. I feel like people will think I'm really weird based on the way I look because they think I'm ugly or something. You're I'm not ugly. ugly. You're one of the nicest. You're one of the nicest looking people here. Oh, yeah, actually, a lot of people in this world are very underrated. Okay, I'm gonna have to be sick. For guys, because I be, I suppose you'd be this is also a part of development. But leaving them for a week straight and moving with my cousin in California, I thought like I betrayed them instead of leaving them. But empty, listen. All of you guys, you guys realize at some point, you know, in, in terms of developing, which your poem was about where, you know, teenagers have feelings, of course they do, but you also at a point in your lives where things are very new to you, and you're also on a stage, everything is internalized, you see everything a different way because things are new, you're growing up, and it's a part of growing up. So you feel like the world is directed at you. Yes, but have you? Once you grow older, it's not really all about you. Well, it's not really on stage anymore. So that. you have to kind of sort through these feelings. Oh wow, I'm an attractive yeah. young man. So anyway, I'm just all right, listen. Pull up a. I, I gave you a document. Pull it up. It's called Black Veil Group Work. The Minister's Black Veil. We're going to start that together. We need to move on with it so that we can um, discuss symbols. So pull it up. Do you Google your phone? Pull it up. That's because I brush it. So, we're going to talk about symbolism. You guys are aware of it. Symbolism. Andy, take your computer out. Why film? Report? Come on. I give you guys time. You give me time now. You gave us time for what? Andy, like, just. Andy, computer. Come on. Tell us what. Black veil what? Uh, black veil group work. Uh, like that, okay. right? Group. Is that what it says? What does it say, Black veil group work? I did not do my homework. Okay, just pull up your That's computer. That's what we're going to have to do. It's called group work. We're coming back tomorrow. So, I think no, we're coming back on Monday. Black Veil group 